Hey guys, so welcome back. I hope we're all doing really well and happy Black Friday. I know it's a little bit unavoidable at this point, but I think Black Friday is actually a really good day to kind of get some proper steals and uh, invest in things that you've maybe putting off for a little while. I do actually have a blog post that I'll link down below um, where I've kind of like just compiled every single discount code I could possibly find. Um, so that'll be in the info box if you want to check that out. But today we are going to do a capture wardrobe from ASOS. So ASOS today are something like 70% off every single item. Every single item. I love the idea of a capture wardrobe just having 20 basic pieces that all work together and can be paired into, you know, a limited amount of outfits. I've basically pulled most of this from my wardrobe already and then supplemented it with just a couple of pieces that I found on ASOS as well. So I'm going to show you what I've got here and then I'm going to style them into as many outfits as I can come up with and we'll see how much at the end of this video we get out of it. So first basic piece on a capture wardrobe that I think is essential. It's got to be a t-shirt and I think a white t-shirt is just undeniably versatile. There is not a lot you can't do with a white t-shirt. So this is my number one staple for a capture wardrobe. I have this one here from Weekday, which is a really nice crew neck, um, slightly oversized. I'd almost say like a boyfriend t-shirt fit. I've gone for this in a size up. So I've gone for a large and I always do that with my t-shirts because I like to have a little bit more room in them. I like to be able to tuck them in and have some excess material. So second only to the white t-shirt I think is the white shirt itself. Now I've had a very recent kind of love affair with white shirts as I'm sure has been well documented. <laughs> Particularly for me it's this oversized look when it comes to a white shirt. Now this one I picked up from ASOS is a boyfriend fit, which is something I do find myself looking for more and more recently. I like that oversized look in general, um, but especially things that are designed to have that look I find are really, really great. So this one I actually got in a size down again and it is still huge, but it's just the perfect amount of oversized for me. I really like it. It's got a pocket here. I really like it when shirts come with pockets. I think that detail just breaks a lot of this kind of bulk up. And then the sleeves are nice and long. There's no tapering, there's no um, tailored fit to this. I can't stand it when shirts have like a tailored fit. It just, it does not work for me. I like it when they are very straight and to the point. So next I'm gonna move into knitwear and I have two knitwear pieces which I think are gonna be really important to have in a capsule wardrobe. First of all, we have just your very simple, basic standard jumper that I think, you know, could work with absolutely anything. It's one of those pieces that you know you have in your wardrobe and you can just throw on absolutely whenever. So this is actually from New Look. I'd say this on me in particular comes pretty much down to my waist, so there's no actual cropping going on, nothing on show here, but it's just the right height to sort of be very flattering with high-waisted jeans and trousers. And also the actual um, ribbing of this, the actual knit was really important too. So this is quite a uh, small knit, a small weave, but it's quite tightly packed. So although it's quite thin and lightweight, it feels very durable and like it's gonna hold its shape. And there's nothing worse than a jumper that just kind of goes all baggy and weird. But then I also think, especially for a winter capsule wardrobe, the turtleneck definitely needs its moment. This is actually one of my favorite, favorite jumpers. It's such a good piece and it's from Selected Femme. Now you can find them on ASOS and they're a really good, I think they're kind of like a Scandinavian brand. They definitely have that vibe. I love the turtleneck on this. It is literally the biggest thing ever. And this one does have a very interesting shape. It's got kind of like a drop at the back here. So the front comes down a little bit shorter than the back and it has some really great hemming on it. So when I'm putting together a capsule wardrobe like this, I'm basically thinking about every day, so casual pieces, things that I can wear whenever, but I do like to have a few pieces that are just a little bit more dressy and more evening appropriate. So I always like to go for something satin. I think satin is amazing because it's so easily styled. It's kind of all day appropriate, depending on the accessories you pair with it. I love the color of this. It's like a champagne. So pretty, and especially with the sheen that it has, it just looks like the most gorgeous material. And to me, this just screams like jeans and a nice top. <laughs> this is the outfit that I wanna wear when I go out and be comfortable, but still be like dressed up a little bit. I really like that this has a high neck. It's not a super high neck, but it's got that little kind of mock neck there. And I think when you are going out and you're wearing something in this kind of material, having that high neck is actually quite cool, especially with the long sleeves. I think it really complements it. These sleeves are really interesting too, because they're kind of ballooned a little bit at the cuff. And then I have a dress here. I've only got one dress in this capsule because 
I wouldn't say I'm a massive dress wearer. I do wear them when appropriate, but they're not the kind of thing I reach for all that often. However, a slip dress is a very different cup of tea. First of all, they're just so flattering. I really find a slip dress and anything in this kind of like bias cut with a thin satin material is just really body skimming and it always looks good, especially when you go for one in black like this. So this one is ASOS own brand and it is super, super long. I really like it when um, dresses are very much kind of like ankle length. So there's just a little bit of some skin or leg popping through. And the straps on this are really, really pretty. They're kind of dainty little spaghetti straps. And it's got this really nice V, which again, I think is actually a really flattering neckline on any shape. And then the back, the back of this is great because it goes higher than the bra strap. So you can still wear a strapless bra with this and not have any kind of low back issues that are gonna prevent you from doing that. So midi dress for me is something I can wear with heels. Um, for an evening, I can put a jumper over this and wear it with trainers and completely style it down and then everything else in between. There are so many different ways to wear a midi dress. So we're going to move on to the bottom half now. I'm going to start with jeans, of course, because you cannot have a capsule wardrobe or any wardrobe at all, in my opinion, without a good pair of jeans. I'm going to start off with a pair of black straight leg jeans. Now these ones are from Levi's, these are rib cage jeans and I'm pretty convinced at this point that they are the ultimate high-waisted straight jean. They are awesome. Can't really go wrong with a pair of Levi's in my opinion, but these are just kind of like ultimate black straight skinny jeans and I think those probably similarly to the white t-shirt are just an unescapable must have essential. I think everybody has a pair of black jeans. I wanted to go for a different style of jean um, and a different colour as well. So I ended up picking a pair of off-white and I also went for a wide leg because I love a wide leg jean. They are so flattering. If you're not really into the whole skinny, straight, anything along the lines of that type of trouser, a wide leg jean is just so great because it has all the benefits of a high-waisted, sucks everything in, gives a really good shape, but it also has this really nice like flared bottom, which I always enjoy wearing. So these are a pair from ASOS. Like I said, they are an off-white. They're really nice. So then taking things to the absolute other end of the scale, if um, jeans are not comfortable for you, then these are going to be uh, a pair of joggers. Now I, up until very recently, wasn't really a convert to wearing um, joggers on a day-to-day -day basis, but I absolutely love styling these now with chunky trainers, with t-shirts, with knits, and then big coats over the top. I really can't actually get enough of them. <laughs> so why not add some comfort into your life? Um, and I went for this pair, which are a really cool camel color. I think for me, the type of joggers that are really easy to style are always the ones with this elasticated waistband and then the same elasticated hemming at the ankle. I really wanted to make sure I had a pair of faux leather trousers in here too, because these to me just, again, are so easy to wear, so easy to style, and they can be taken from day to night so quickly too. These ones are from Monkey and they're actually a really cool shape and style. They have very big like pockets here at the top. They have a lot of detailing along the legs and they taper down into a kind of ankle skimming trouser. And um, they're also quite high waisted and they sit really nicely just above my hips. They're quite flattering. So then the final pair of trousers I had are actually part of a two piece. I have um, a cord here and it is a suit. Suits and smart tailoring like this are just so what I want to be in at the moment. Um, and I think especially a blazer is a key, key thing to have in your wardrobe. You can't really go wrong with a blazer. Um, but I thought I would also add in the matching trousers for this one. I'm not usually one to go for the matchy matchy look, but I really, really like this suit. It's quite an oversized one. So the trousers on these are really nice. They are a very basic, simple pair of cream trousers. They turn up here at the bottom. They've got a little bit of a crease down the middle and they're high-waisted too. They're the type of trousers that you could really pair with anything. And I really like dressing um, more tailored pieces like this, especially trousers down with a pair of trainers, maybe like a jumper or a hoodie, something like that. Really keeping it quite casual um, and having this like mix of laid back and then tailored, I think that works really well. And then the blazer, it's actually a very cool blazer. It's even got shoulder pads. So if you're looking for like the ultimate vintage style blazer, this is definitely the one. So that brings me on to the subject of outerwear. And I have three 
outerwear pieces here. Three jackets or jackets and coats. And I really do think these are all you need in your wardrobe. So we're gonna start with actually this one, the leather jacket. And actually more particularly the cropped biker style. I don't really think I need to explain the benefits of having a leather jacket in your wardrobe to anybody, but um, especially a cropped one like this, I think is such a quick way to turn an outfit into something different, whether you're going out for the evening. This is what I put on. The leather jacket is something I reach for every single time I'm going out. Or you just want something a bit cooler to so kind of give an outfit some edge. Um, throwing a leather jacket on as well can completely change the way a very basic and simple outfit looks. So this one I have absolutely rinsed. I have mentioned this so many times and it is from Bershka. It is the best leather jacket I have ever found in my life. I will never be parted from this. It is one of my favorite, favorite things. So then I think having something a bit more casual is really important. So a weekend jacket, something you can throw on top of jeans, just something very kind of laid back. Uh, I think is important to have. So this one is a shacket. We're into the shackets right now. It's a shirt style jacket. So it kind of looks like a big oversized shirt, but it is a really nice jacket. Um, this one is very kind of like cozy feeling. It's from Stradivarius. I actually went for this in my normal size. I went for a medium and it is still pretty large on me. So it's definitely designed to have a super, super oversized fit. It almost reminds me a bit of a lumberjack jacket just without the check something uh, a bit like that is that just me um but yeah really easy very laid back piece to wear and then finally we have the coat the one the ultimate and i always like my winter coat to be something very quite big and long as well and usually in a darker color i do find with a coat it's a lot easier to style when it is a darker color so this is my winter coat of choice and it is from ASOS. It was one of those absolute steals where it feels like it should be a good couple of hundred pounds more than it actually is. In terms of the color, it's not black. It's actually a very dark khaki and it has this really like fuzzy, furry texture to it. And it is a very long line coat. I love a long line coat. I think there aren't really enough of them around. For me, it's kind of all or nothing. It has to be shorter or it has to be really, really long. And this definitely falls into that category. So just as important as all these pieces um, are the accessories that you style them with. So I've actually included a few accessories in the 20 items here. I have a few shoes and then a couple of other bits, which I'm gonna show you first. Number one is a belt, a basic black belt with a gold detail. You'd be surprised at how much actually this comes into play and how many outfits um, benefit from having a belt and also can be completely changed from having a belt. This one is from Another Stories, which you can now find on ASOS very excitingly. It's kind of like a patent belt, it's quite interesting. It's got this black um, croc effect, which again can just go towards adding a little bit of something to an outfit. Um, so basic black belt, really important. And then I do have a bag here too, and I really think it is possible to find one bag, one handbag that can work with your entire wardrobe. And I think this one may be it. Um, this is actually a really cool bag. It's ASOS own brand and it's a crossbody. This one has a really nice thick strap and it's got this like super cool half moon shape and it's in a dark brown. So I'm adding a little bit of color um, into my wardrobe here with my accessories, but just keeping it to the minimal. Um, it's like a dark brown croc effect. So shoes as well. And I have three pairs. I have a boot, a trainer and a heel. So starting with boot, and these are actually one of my favorite, favorite pairs of boots at the moment. They are such a great find. And they are ASOS own brand again. They have a really cool square toe to them. So they're very like reminiscent of something from The Row or By Far or Mista, which are all brands, shoe brands that I love. I think what makes them look a little bit more expensive as well is that the heel is just a slightly different tone. It's got like a brown, almost wood effect and that follows down into the edging around here. Really great, simple, basic pair of black boots. So for a more casual pair of shoes, something more laid back, something that's flat, comfortable, um, it's gonna be really easily paired with a more laid back type of outfit. I've gone for trainers, and I'm being a bit of a trainer girl right now, I'm having a moment with them, especially these actually, which are from Adidas. I've kind of toyed with the whole chunky down trainer trend a little bit, but it wasn't until I found these that I kind of just was absolutely sold on it. And then for the heel, and I have gone for a pair of white heels. These I thought were just a really cool style. They have, again, that square toe, and they're almost like a, a flip-flop style heel. You'll 
toe goes into these. And I just like this kind of blockiness they have to them. They have the blockiness of the toe, of the straps, and also of the heel. This is a really cool heel, the way it's just slightly thicker but then on the side, tapers down very thin. I love these straps, which, you know, you tie around your ankle as many times as you want. I personally don't put these up too high. I kind of like to just wrap them all around the same spot in my ankle, and that works for me. So first outfit, let's start somewhere super simple. I've got the white t-shirt on, tucked into the white jeans, the white wide leg jeans. They're not super wide, you can see, but they just flare out nicely at the bottom. And then I have my white Adidas trainers on with this as well. So it's kind of like a very simple all white look. So then I can put the oversized shirt jacket on top of this and it kind of keeps that monochromatic outfit look. And also because of the casual style of this, it's just a very like cool casual, easy outfit. And then I could either swap the t-shirt out or just layer it up here with the cream knit. And it kind of gives it a bit more of a wintry feel. It's got more layers, it's more cozy and snug, um, but it still fits in with that whole monotone look. Because the t-shirt is quite high necked, it actually goes up really nicely underneath this jumper and you can just see it poking out a bit, which I like. So I could swap the jacket for the leather. Um, crop jacket here and keep everything the same but also change out my shoes to the boots these ones kind of are the perfect height to just disappear up underneath the trousers and just changing a few accessories i've added in some more tones we've got some black here now and i think the black just makes this a little bit more of a cool outfit and the boots also smarten it up a bit and then I can also add the bag to this outfit and the crossbody immediately kind of casuals it up again. So it kind of takes it down another level, um, looks a bit more easygoing. And I really like the way this brown leather bag looks with the black. Don't ask me why, I never thought I'd pair black and brown together, but I'm enjoying it a lot. So I switched out the jeans now for the black Levi jeans, still wearing the same shoes, still have the same jumper on, but I've actually put the belt on now. So I've just belted this so that the tuck of the jumper has something to go into and it's just a bit more detail there. Look at that mess on the floor. Um, so adding the black jeans and having the straight leg, I think just gives this outfit a little bit more of a finished look, especially with the detail of the belt. And then I can completely change that around by going for the jumper and having it as our first all black outfit of this video. I think an all black outfit to me is just the ultimate chic. And you know, if you don't know what to do, if you cannot pick an outfit, just put something of the same tone together and it will look full together and like you've actually, you know, tried. I love how high this jumper's neck is, it's so good. And I've just tied my hair up because I think that lets it sort of show through and not be completely covered up. I can keep this more casual again by adding the crossbody bag there um, and having it kind of just break up that black with the slightly different tone of brown. And then I can go full coat with this uh, and layer up with the big chunky winter coat. This is so chunky and so oversized, but I think it works so well. And again, I've got the bag here. I love how the brown, the black, and the green all go together. And I feel like those are colors that I was always told should never be worn at the same time. Nonetheless, it pleases me. Um, so this coat, so long line, you get a little bit of ankle there with the jeans, and then that's all just elongated again by having the boots kind of disappearing up into them. I really like this outfit a lot. I think it's very cozy, winter cool. And then I can go straight back into the leather jacket as well. Same jeans, but I've gone for the trainers now. And all of a sudden this very kind of put together, smart looking outfit is just really casual, very like Sunday appropriate, really um, just very easy to wear. And then if I wanna keep this really, really casual, really laid back, I can just put on the shirt jacket instead. Um, and this pairs really nicely with the all black outfit, but also the pop of white with the trainers. The turtleneck still works really well underneath this, um, but definitely has a way more like casual vibe. So next I have kept everything the same on top and the same shoes, but I have swapped out the jeans for the slip dress. So you can see wearing a jumper over the top of this basically doubles it up as a skirt. You kind of get a dress and then a slip midi skirt all in one, so it's like a two for one. <laughs> wearing something that's quite like evening-y, quite slinky, um, with something big and oversized like this black jumper, and then really, really chunky trainers. is just a different way of really dressing it down. And then I have the crossbody bag there 
as well just to keep it even more casual so if i wanted to wear just the dress on its own but still keep that like trainer uh laid back vibe i could put the t-shirt here underneath it and wearing a t-shirt underneath a dress just instantly takes it down a level i think it's still a really cool way to wear it though and i've also just rolled up the sleeves to make them a little bit shorter with the length of this definitely a very cool um, an easy way without having to think about anything to wear a slip dress. And then straight from the most casual way to wear it to the most non-casual way to wear it, um, just the dress on its own. And I have paired this with the heels. So you've got your proper like cocktail party evening dress look sorted here. And I don't think there's anything like, more simple and easy or simple to throw on than a black cami dress. It's just absolutely a no brainer. It's a little black dress, something that you do not have to worry about looking good. So adding a vintage oversized blazer for me is just my favorite, favorite way to wear a dress like this. I think it gives it such a cool vibe and really just the kind of more masculine oversized look that I like. Um, and pairing that with a very feminine slip dress like this works so, so well. Um, this is definitely, or definitely would be my go-to evening outfit. Love the shoes, love the dress, and I love the look the blazer gives over the top. So same basic outfit again, dress and blazer, but I've changed the shoes out to the boots, and this gives it just a slightly more cool look. It's a little bit less dressy, a little bit less um, kind of like very going out with the heels. And for this as well, I would carry my bag like this just under my arm, under my shoulder, um, just to finish off the whole look. So if the oversized blazer look is just really not your thing with dresses, you could also go for the leather jacket, which just kind of makes everything a little bit more fitted, a bit more slim cut, but also works really well with the boots, which are the same um, material. And again, we have um, another perfect all black outfit. So I've gone back to the blazer, but I have also paired it with its matching trousers. Now this top, you may be thinking, you haven't seen that yet. This is actually just the slip dress rolled up and tucked in. Because it is such a thin, kind of delicate material, you can definitely get away with rolling up into a top and you've instantly got yourself like a very slinky cami to wear alongside a suit like this. I love this oversized suit, I think it looks so great. Um, just the huge, huge silhouette of the blazer is so cool. Um, I love how these two look together as a cord, as a suit, um, and then I have the boots on too, because I do love a pair of boots with uh, tailored trousers like this. This also works really well with the shirt over the top. It's a really very exaggerated, oversized look. I've just tucked in half of it um, and left half out and then also cuffed it here. And I think this one is a very 80s vibes type of outfit. It's really giving me like Chan the Bing. Got it on with the boots too, just to kind of edge it up a little bit. Um, but I think just having that whole exaggerated look is a really cool one. So lose the jacket, add the jumper and the trainers, and we've got a bit more of a Charla Bing's day off type of vibe. Same cool oversized tailored trousers, but really, really styled down with um, these really cozy, like casual layers. I could also untuck this completely and just have um, the whole shirt poking through. I've got the collar coming out a little bit and the cuffs. And I think having um, a shirt like that underneath a really cropped jumper is definitely a look I enjoy. So we've gone back to all neutrals now with this more casual pared down look. So now we are getting into leather trouser territory. These ones are a lot more cropped than the other trousers, so they definitely give a different look. Um, I've just got them paired here with the trainers. I like that black and white together. Same here on top, I've left the shirt tucked under the jumper. And adding the leather trousers actually give this an even more kind of like casual vibe. You wouldn't think so, but especially when paired with trainers like this, I think these um, types of faux leather pieces can really be quite chilled. Just wearing the white shirt, actually untucked, and I've got the sleeves rolled up and cuffed here, alone with the leather trousers and the heels, is a kind of going out look that I really like. It's super cash, really laid back and chilled, but because we've got the heels and the tapered trousers and the fact that they're uh, faux leather, I think this whole thing just looks a lot more pulled together, and it's sort of a way of wearing a white shirt and keeping it very simple, but still kind of a bit classier. I can also tuck this shirt in 
and then add back on the blazer, keeping the heels, and we've got a much more kind of like business appropriate look, if your vibe is like that oversized 80s vintage office workwear type look. Um, the heels always make me feel a little bit more bossy, I don't know, a little bit more like I'm in control of the situation, and a power blazer is always gonna help with that. So I really like this for maybe like a workwear look. So to make this outfit even more kind of um, like party outfit, appropriate I've changed into the satin top. I just love how this instantly makes an outfit look so much more special. The sleeves on this are such a cool detail and I, I actually really like the high neck. I just think it looks really cool. It's just a very interesting way to do like a going out top. So with the leather trousers as well and the heels, I think this is like your ultimate dancing drinks type outfit. We'll probably end up wearing this to like the work Christmas party or something like that. Or if you're not quite feeling the leather trousers but you still want the same kind of vibe to an outfit um i've just put on the wide leg jeans i think these are actually quite cool because they really bring that like 70s vibe which i'm getting a lot from this top um so they really carry that on in the wide leg and then the heels as well makes this into another all white off-white outfit i think i might actually even prefer this one to the leather trousers look with this top i like how these two go together and all the colors work. And if you were thinking there was no way possible you could make this top look a bit more daytime appropriate, that is not the case. I have just put it on with the shirt jacket and I've kept the jeans on but swapped out the heels for the boots. Added the bag and then you have just a very cool, like very easy going but slightly different um, everyday look. I like this one a lot actually. I think you could even go as far as pairing it with the joggers which are just like the ultimate comfy trouser. Once you put these on you just never want to wear anything else outside the house again. And yet they still work with this really silky satin top. I've put the leather jacket on top just to kind of clinch everything together and I've gone for trainers. I think these joggers look so great with trainers. This is a very business on top, party on the bottom type of outfit. My favourite way to wear these though, whether I'm indoors or outdoors, would be with um, a very basic and simple outfit. White t-shirt tucked in and then trainers as well on the bottom and you can kind of build from this in so many different ways by adding different layers um, and different outerwear pieces. I think the shirt jacket on top of this works really well because it keeps that whole like cozy comfy vibe going um, and also sticks to a very monochromatic palette. Or I could style them completely differently with the jumper over the top, the black jumper and then the big coat as well with the boots. I actually really like how these look with the boots because of the cuffed ankle. That roll up works so well um, and actually I think this all together is a very opposite of a casual outfit. I think it's actually quite smart but you know you're just incorporating jogger type trousers into the whole look which I like a lot. There are literally so many more combinations of outfits I could think of and put together but I am I'm running out of time and running out of daylight, so I'm gonna leave it here. But honestly, with just 20 items, the possibilities are literally endless. So guys, that is my ASOS capsule wardrobe. I hope you enjoyed watching this. Um, I'm gonna leave everything linked down below uh, if you wanna go and check any of these pieces out. Leave me a comment as well, letting me know what your favorite outfit that I styled was. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna leave you all here. Have a great weekend and I'll see you all soon.